Hello there guys, my name is Coaster Child, Doncaster Born, Bob, built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park Newsroom update where today we're going to be talking about Thorpe Park Resort. Now they, along with the rest of the UK theme parks, are scheduled to open tomorrow on July 4th, however that doesn't stop the park from announcing brand new events and this one is no different. So, Thorpe Park have officially announced Oktoberfest which is going to be going on during the autumn of this year. Uh, and I'm sure it will go down next year as well throughout the summer to make up for the, the summer months that they have missed uh, with this COVID-19 pandemic. So before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe. Click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, your family and on social media. Make sure you also comment down below your video suggestions, your shout outs and also your questions for our Q&A. Use the hashtag question before or after your question. Those will be for our subscriber Q&A for when we celebrate 2,000 subscribers. Make sure you also send me your merchandise with your name and location on Instagram and Snapchat. Links in the description down below for that. And also, guys, make sure you get us to 10,000 subscribers in the next 365 days. Because if we do, then we get to launch some merchandise. We get to officially launch the merchandise. And I've been thinking about another few projects I wanted to do as well. So uh, stay tuned for more on that. Uh, for when the channel gets bigger. And for now, guys, let's get into this theme park news update from Thorpe Park Resort. So, Thorpe Park Resort have officially announced Oktoberfest. So, officially from the website of the brand new event. Brand new for 2020, Yodel If You Want To Go Faster, as an Oktoberfest like no other, arrives with a thrilling Thorpe Park spin on the classic Bavarian Beer Festival. Oktoberfest arrives at Thorpe Park on the following dates. 18th to the 20th of September, the 25th to the 27th of September, and the 2nd to the 4th of October. Check back on the website for more information coming soon. Tickets online from £39, and it's suitable for thrill seekers 18 and over. So that, my friends, is Thought Park Oktoberfest. So not a lot of information right now. I will link the website in the description down below so you can keep uh, refreshing this video and double checking when more information will come soon. And of course, I'll do another video uh, when more information is released about Oktoberfest 2020. But like I said, this is a very interesting one. Now, obviously, events on the biggest draw for theme parks, right? Now. I think the biggest draw for theme parks is getting them flaming open. Um... You know, the COVID-19 pandemic is obviously going to have a massive hit on the theme park industry as well as every other industry. And obviously the Oktoberfest is a very interesting event to go for. You know, Alton Towers Oktoberfest was scheduled, is scheduled to go ahead as planned as far as I know. Um, so maybe Chessington will do an Oktoberfest and theme it around the jungle. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Maybe Legoland will do one and do like Lego German characters. Uh, but... Um, a Thought Park Oktoberfest isn't the worst idea in the world. I don't think it's the worst idea in my opinion. I think that um, if they keep to the rules and if they do the two meters apart or the one, whatever the social distancing rule is now, whether it's one meters, two meters. And I think with, I saw a report that pubs are scheduled to open at 6 a.m. tomorrow. So, you know, think of it what you will. But I think that may potentially, if that's true, then that may potentially have an impact as to why Thought Park are announcing an Oktoberfest event. Or maybe, you know, they have this event planned from the beginning, uh, even before this pandemic. So, you know, I think that the, the announcement was scheduled to bring some smiles back on our faces, especially with the Thought, uh, Thought Park being back open tomorrow on July 4th. So I think that it's definitely the right time to try and increase those smiles on people's faces. But hopefully if they stick to the rules, uh, which I know they will do, I think they can still put on a great beer festival. I think they can still put on a great Oktoberfest event. They can do some nice decorations around the rest of the park. You know, there's no shame in that. They can, you know, de-clean them afterwards. And, you know, they can stick to what they, they're doing to keep people safe. But just keep putting on these events. So, uh, I know a lot of people have been a bit sceptical about Thought Park's new additions over recent years. Along with, you know, their events. You know, it's not a coaster and things like that. I've said previously, I think this, I think events are a great way for Thought Park to promote themselves as a resort and think about all ages. Thought Park will get a new coaster in the next few years, guys. Don't you worry about that. But I think for now, I think these are great additions to give the park an all-round feel. It's giving me Bush Gardens vibes, where they have their great attractions for all ages: the family rides, the thrill-seeking attractions, uh, the coasters for for thrill riders. They've got a range of attractions, but they put on these events to make the park feel all round, and it makes the park feel, um, 
you know, that just a little bit more well themed. And I think that um, Thor Parker going in the all round direction, which I like. I like that. Uh, they're all going to get a new coaster in a few years' time. I can guarantee that, in my opinion. But um, I definitely think that these events are a great way of filling in gap years between the next coaster. So. Thought Park Resort, I completely agree with these events. I love this Oktoberfest event. It sounds like brilliant. I'm not sure where the main beer hall is going to go. There's a lot of rumours of where Alton Towers' main beer hall is going to go, like the uh, the hall, like the conference centre tent next to Spinball Wizard, maybe, or maybe it's on the gardens, or maybe it's somewhere else in the park. But with Thought Park, there's a couple of locations where I could see one. Maybe... Uh, underneath Stealth, where that club MTV did like the summer parties last year. I think maybe underneath Stealth's uh, archway, or just sort of on that Stealth Amity Plaza, maybe they do a beer hall around there, or they use an empty building in the park and create a Bavarian beer hall for the Oktoberfest event around there, just so they can spread the awareness across the rest of the theme park, and not just one specific area. So, you know, decorate the whole park at the time, and, you know, get those decorations up, and then have a main beer hall somewhere in the park. Maybe it's in the dome. Maybe it's somewhere in the dome area. So, it's going to be very exciting to watch the developments of that. We'll, of course, we'll check back for more information, and we'll do another video releasing more information on where everything is, and what's being scheduled for things like that. But for now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this theme park news update on Thought Park Oktoberfest. Obviously, you can check out another update we did months ago on Alton Towers Oktoberfest, which we released a few months ago. But for now, guys, thank you very, very much. My name is Coach Shell. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. I'm Austin.